Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Now, we are in the asylum and the nice lady let us out of our cell, but now we have to get out of here. Unseen and unheard and unscathed, preferably. I don't think we'll be opening other people's asylum doors today. Nope. Okay. But what was in here? This is the cell they took this guy out of. What does this mean? Ooh, a reconstruction scene. Alright, what do we got? Ooh. Am I in an asylum? Um, yes. What was your first clue? Uh, Madison. What did they inject him with? Um, I guess my medicines is not high enough to find out what they injected. Oh, good, the door's closed. Oh, right, because reconstruction. What did he write about the painting? The paintings are cursed, is what I think he wrote. Yeah, the paintings are cursed. Yep, I knew it. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Why not? Sarah. Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Sarah's paintings are cursed. What more did you need? Um, is that... Sure, ah, here we go. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. That's weird. <laughs> so... Whoever that person was... If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Poor wretch. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. That sounds like a threat. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. She definitely suspects that they're doing something crazy down here. Stealth and detection. When an enemy suspects your presence, a white marker I'll have appears. to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. Danger high voltage, huh? I told you not to let them I know. Oh, it's a hiding place. Oof. What the hell? So, Sarah was able to visit... The... the machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Wheels? What wheels? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh at that. That was just such a patternized laugh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, looks like blood going in here. Fun times. Good God. What could this machine be used for? Nothing good, I can tell you that much. Empty? Ooh. According to his record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis. He gouged his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. Jeez. This person? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? Probably. It does look like he's missing his eyes. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? That's a good question. These spots where I can hide. Ooh. 
Things get very weird when I hide inside those spots. Is it because it's dark? They're definitely doing the amnesia thing with the darkness. Worse and worse. This is madness. Are they seriously thinking of transmitting the properties of this meat by electric current? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty messed up. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? There's a hidden item in here, and by golly, I'll find it, I will. Aha! Do the cops know what's going on? Bloodstained badge belongs to a dark water police officer. Interesting. So the cops are either in on it, or one of the cops was a victim? Does this work? Have I activated anything? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Oh, good idea. Maybe that's the distraction. I can still increase the load. Or the diversion. Okay, so we gotta go around and find all these switches that lead to this. Interesting. So where could they be? Looks like we've got some exploring to do. Locked. Of course it is. That's the administrative office. Exactly what I need. Ooh. How do we get in there to get those keys? We gotta find a way in there somehow. So these high voltage... These, these things we can use to hide in... I'm assuming... Oh! My lock picking still this ain't This padlock fine. is too complicated for me. Well, shit. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Well, I just put a bunch of points into my investigation skill. Oh, there's a guy in there. Ooh. What? Oh shit. Shit 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 This way. Is this not that's not gonna work. He saw me go in there. Crap. Ah Ah, damn it. Alright, so I've died I've gotten caught twice now trying to go that way, so I'm gonna try to find another way. If I could get into this administrative office and get those keys, that would be nice, because then I could actually get into places. Since I already broke the lockpick trying to get in there, and you. it didn't work. Yeah, you there, come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I'm not. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here, except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah, and in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll hmm. draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. So that's one possible way of dealing with this. I won't promise anything, though, because I don't know if I can, fi if I can find If I it. find something, who knows what I'll do. Don't play the wise guy because you're on the outside and I'm not. That's not how I meant it. So, have you got him? Not I don't, yet. I don't have them, Hurry but... up if you don't want them to find you. Okay. I guess we'll try. What is well enough inside? Oh, crap. I should probably stay crouched in this. Wherever I'm at. And probably, like, hug the wall so that they can't see me through the screens. Oh, that guy is right there. Shit. Well, I'm not going that way, then. Oh! Oh! 
Yeah, you keep going that way. I'm going to see if I can't. Oh, good. This is open. Anything important? None of those are sleeping pills? Okay. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. She was... She was a patient? She was interned at Riverside for fits of insanity well, a while before her death. She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Oh. So she tried to set that fire before. Dementia? Self-inflicted wounds? Irene Sanders, the wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Huh. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Well, I mean, at least we found some stuff, right? It wasn't a complete waste. No sleeping pills, though. Alright, so this guy is on an obvious looping pattern. So I just gotta figure out what that pattern is and try to avoid him. It's done. Now for the others. It looks like it saves every time I pull one of those levers, so that's good. Let's follow this red cord to the next one. Because if I can't find those sleeping pills for that guy, then I think this is the other way. I think there's a couple of options here, and I think at least two of them are overload the electricity or find the sleeping pills for that one guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he went that way. Six, four, five. Uh oh, this red one's going somewhere that I can't go. Yeah, I can't get in there. Not with him standing there. That's bad. That's bad. Gentlemen. Get me out! Don't let me sleep in here. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's not my place. Alright, I haven't tried going in here yet, although I don't know what purpose it'll serve me, but I'm gonna give it a go. What have we here? Note to a staff. Last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stop cocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date. Okay. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. Ooh, am I high enough level to lockpick this now? I upgraded my stuff. I'm four out of five on investigation. That better be good enough. Thank you. Perfect. First door I've actually been able to lockpick in this level. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Maybe this is an easy way out. Maybe, oh, another one of these. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Yeah, I can hide there, but I'm not going to do that. I want to see what's in what happens if I go this way. Uh oh, this was probably a bad idea. Of course, I decided to go the way that would in, that would drop my sanity. Was that a nightmare scenario for you? Hold on, okay, hold on. Ooh, I got pincers, whatever those are good for. The control wheel is missing. Ah. This lever must turn on the gas machine. There's nothing happening. That's because I don't have the control wheel that I need, you see. Those are helpful items, though. That got me out of there. What's this? This valve controls the pressure. Let's turn it. Okay. One of the things I like about this, one of the thing I like about this game is ugh, one of the things I like about this game is that they give you multiple different ways to go about solutions. Dr. Fuller, I've repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear that the gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you. If the equipment is put under too much pressure, there is a risk of explosion. Ooh, okay, so that could be a good distraction. An explosion. 
The control wheel is missing. There's a wheel missing from here, too, so... I need two control wheels. I definitely turned the pressure up. That's, uh... It's gonna be a problem when we finally go to explode. So this, this is a third option. Blow up the thing. So we've got, like, three different it's ways. Locked. Okay, we got three different ways that we can go about this now. Interesting. Glad I decided to go this way. So that's what that was. You'll find me! Ooh. You can see me! Let's calm down, please. No, no, no! Pain is just information, dear Francis. Oof. Invaluable information for my research. You kill me! You kill me! What? If you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. He who? Huh. Oh shit. <laughs> right, that's where I snuck out of. I don't want to go that way. Those guards over there will definitely see me. Alright. I need to figure out a way to get these keys. Get through there and get these keys. It shouldn't be that damn hard. Ooh, a hidden item area. Ooh, yay, more medicine progression. Good, 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 good. See, it pays to explore. Aha! I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. Okay. That's, yeah, that's true. But that's only one control wheel. We need two. Oh, now he's gone. Oh, shit. No, he's not. He's not gone. Not gone at all. Fuck if I need him to be, though. I just need to be fast about this. Whew. Okay, I think I got out of there in time. One more. It's no use. The padlock won't give. I have a fucking key! God damn it. Okay, now that he's gone that way, I'm gonna go this way. Oh good, that added to my medicine progression. Oh god. Oh, the other wheel! Well, now all I need to do is get past him without the... Shit. Well, this is gonna suck. Let's go for it. This way! Goodbye! I'll go take a look. You there! Run! can't stay in here too long, but come on. Okay, good. I think he gave up. The steam pipe route is going to have to be my ace in the hole. Alright, now I think I have to turn these again because they weren't still turned from last time. <laughs> yep, there's my diversion. Before the guards see me. Oh, 
Okay, whoa, why is... They said when you're in a panicky situation, you gotta get out of it fast, otherwise bad things might happen. I don't understand why crawling through a vent is considered a panicky situation, but... God, why can't I open this? Oh wait, I can now because of the key. Ha ha! Quick act, quick, easy way out. Well, they are distracted with that, the stupid fools. I can finally make my glorious triumphant escape. Assuming I know where to, oh, hello. No, wait, I need to go this way. Yeah, this is the exit. Silly me, these are the guards I distracted. Anything I missed in that other area? Well, it's just... Um, do I go in here or up there? We should go in here first, because there's probably clues, right? Ooh, I saw something over there. Something flickered in my peripheral. Doctor... Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. Yeah, thank God. It gives us time to get away. I'll. Oh, we're going to try to help this guy. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. Yeah. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me or you'll end up the same way. Okay, you need treatment. Oh, my medicine's not high enough. What did they do to you? You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore! So whatever is so... The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Um... It was Sarah Hawkins who invoked the curse? In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. Oh? <laughs> but she failed. And that's what And counts. she let something in. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. So we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds don't you! Don't look at what? What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. The aficionado, okay. Um... No! Sanders! Okay, what the hell? There's some exorcist shit going on. What the hell? The Shambler got him. We better go before it gets us, too. Oh, God. I got... I got it. This is insane. What killed him? That's a damn good question. And I'm not exactly planning on sticking around to find out. <coughs> oh! Just the fucking steam scared me. Oh, okay, we're... We're going through a phase now. Wait, which way do I go? Is this right? Damn! <coughs> the gas! Oh, I screwed myself with the gas. Oops. Oh, my head. 
Later. We need to move on. Oh, well, that's the end of that chapter. Chapter 6, Hawkins Mansion. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Coden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building and accompanied by Bradley and Coden... The companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins Mansion as a hideout. Ooh. There appears to be a weird tentacled being here. Is it Cthulhu? Is that Cthulhu? Cthulhu, is that you? I mean, it looks like a giant squid. Who goes there? Um. That nightmare again. I need a drink. Probably the last thing you should be worrying about right now is consuming some alcohol, but anyways. So, that'll be it for this episode. What a crazy adventure we had in the asylum. Now, I was expecting an actual monster, but it appears that there is an actual monster. I just haven't come face to face with it myself yet, but we did just see it, or rather not see it, kill someone, because, you know, it was invisible. But anyways, let me know what you thought of this particular episode and the asylum level in general in the comments down below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.